Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to a brand new video in Spin Tires Mudrunner American Wilds. Now we're going to be picking up in this episode right where we left off in the previous episode, uh, quite literally as you can see on the screen right now, and we're going to jump into the scavenge, um, scavenge seg basically sections of this map. Uh, which is Grizzly Creek, and by doing that, we're going to go ahead and swap right into the K8400 Skitter. Now, this thing is just, like, I, I love it. I, <laughs> I can't get over this thing. I freaking love it. Now, this is going to be my very first time using it. Very, very first time using it. So, uh, it's down by a log station right here, but there's, let's see, there's... Two scap is two long logs here, four short logs here, three medium logs here. So let's see. Hmm. Let's do the three medium logs. Oh, I know exactly. Okay. So we're gonna use the bison. We're gonna use the bison. And then let's see. That's a medium log trailer. Mm, let's see. Utility semi-trailer. Utility normal trailer. And then what else? What else? What else? What else? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. God, I'm not sure. So, I'm not sure what I want to do with this thing. Because we could do the short logs, but, like... We'd be using the Western Star again, and there's nothing wrong with that, but, hmm. There's a long log cart. You know what? Actually. Well, log carriage. So then... Oh, that's weird, though. That's weird, though, because... God, I, I guess I just... I want to put just a normal... God, I guess I should just use the Western Star then. That, that that makes more sense, I guess. But this thing's only gonna do the short logs, so we'll 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 do that. We'll do that. We'll just do the short logs. I, I was like, I was trying to figure it out in my head. I'm like, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. This makes no sense. But but at the end of the day, I mean, it kind of does. So and really. Beyond, like, anything else, like, the whole point of this episode for me is using the skitter. Like, I, I, I like, hauling, hauling the lumber is part of it, but I just want to, I just want to use that thing. It's so cool. And plus, those, like, those scavenge points will kind of, like, switch themselves around, so. Let's see. Be prepared for the unexpected. Home for sit. Oh, God, that's a fixer-upper. That's for sure. <laughs> when they say be prepared for the unexpected, I'm guessing that means be prepared for a swamp. Because that looks to be just about what uh, is in store for us, is a swamp. Transmission in this thing's a little sluggish. It's not really my... Uh, what I would call my optimal pick for a transmission. There's the short, uh, the short, um, uh, lumber, though. At least that's what I think it is. That's what it looks like. I was a little bit, yeah, you know what? I'm kind of glad I brought this now because I would have been really hesitant bringing, like, the Freightliner in here or, uh, or, oh, God, like, God forbid the Ford or the, uh, or the Bison. Like, that would be sketchy. Really sketchy. This is already sketchy. Good God. Low, yeah, low two is about the most that is actually effective here, which is incredibly, like, that's ridiculous to me. Okay. So, K8400 Skitter. And let's, oh, dude, that first person view, though. That's insane. I love it. All right, so I'm going to hang a left right up there, and then... I'll get right up to the Western Star. All right, perfect. This thing is so badass. Let me go into advanced mode. Oh, you can use the push blade. Dude, that's so cool. You're never able to do... Like, it doesn't... It just 
it doesn't let you do that in most, like, factory vehicles in this game. That's so cool. I know I'm just, like, super, like, just geeking out over this thing, but I love it. It's such a cool vehicle. Like, skitters in general are just cool. This is interesting, you know? And with its massive tires, it should be able to make short work of this swamp environment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it sounded Canadian there for a second. Oh, yeah. But no, like, is that even Canadian? No, I just probably made all of my Canadian viewers very upset. But, but, I, was, I hope it's okay. I hope it's okay. I'm sorry. But no, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. And I wonder how many of these we'll be able to grab in one go. Okay, yeah, no, we're going to have to... Because, oh, I real, I just realized that thing doesn't have, like, a rotator. So, due to the lack of a rotator... Yeah, due to the lack of a rotator, we're going to have to back up basically straight. The nice thing about it, though, is the fact that this thing is, is fully articulated in the middle. So, you don't really... You're not really going to run into any, like, weird scenarios with it where you have to, like, back up and then go forward and then back up a million times. Like, as long as you know how to drive one of these, which I'm not claiming I do. I'm just saying I have a basic understanding of the physics of how they work. Um, as long as you're okay with that, you're kind of, you're kind of good to go. So, operate the crane. That works for that. That rotates. And crane grab. Oh, God. Lower, please. Okay, I'm going to have to drive forward a little bit. Going to have to get used to, like... I have to get used to the range. Lower, maybe? There we go. No way. No way. All of them in one go. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's trying to rotate on me, though. Which is annoying. Actually, really annoying. Don't know how we're going to get them onto that truck, but... Hmm. And maybe this isn't exactly the purpose of the skitter. We'll see. But no, like, it, it must be, right? It must... Oh, oh. Wrong truck. No. Oh, my God. I was like... Wrong truck. That thing is glitching. That thing does not like what we just told it to do. It does not like what we just told it to do. Alright, so... I'm gonna swap over to the skitter now, and I think I have a... I think I have an idea here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's what we're gonna try, and it's what is hopefully gonna work. A lot of, a lot of things in this game, like, especially with figuring different things out... Like, you learn very quickly. A lot of it revolves around, yeah, I think this will work, or yeah, I hope this will work. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you guys have figured out yet what I think I'm going to what I think I'm going to do, but put it this way, we might end up putting the push blade to use. This is not how you load one of these trucks. This is not how you load one of these trucks. At all. Oh, that's not gonna work. All that's doing is pushing the truck. That's hilarious. Oh, no. Alright, so we've got the short, um, the short logs back in the skitter. The only problem is, I'm still not sure how we're supposed to get them into a truck without a proper crane. You know what I'm saying? Because unless we're missing something here, which we might be, because I haven't checked out what we can do to the Freightliner yet. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of stuff at the garage right now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, my God. There's more space for your crap. Why don't you go over here? Like, damn. There's so much space. Instead of spawning everything on top of everything else. Oh, I love how it's got like a kind of a classic steering wheel. That's cool. So, with that being said, let's see. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay. Remove that. Log carriage with crane. 
All right, so done deal, or at least so it would seem, right? So it would seem. So let's see, medium log trailer. Hmm. Well, for right now, for right now, let's just use this setup because this makes sense to me. So I've got a log crane. I've got like something where we can we could use the skitter to get the logs to where we need them and then we'll drop them on the ground and then we'll use the crane to load them up and then we'll be good to go. The only thing is I'm not sure if this guy is supposed to load the other trucks as well or how they're supposed to get loaded without a crane vehicle besides the skitter because the skitter can't get the logs high enough to load to get them loaded into the back of the truck where they need to be. So and oh night is falling brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, that just, that's just great. That's just great. Oh, that's just super freaking annoying. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can hmm, grab the skitter and drive it basically out of the swamp. God, we're going to have to figure out which way we're going. All right, we're going to have to make a left. Which is going to be probably at least a three-point turn, if not more. Because while this thing is highly maneuverable, its turning radius is that of a small planet. So lights, extra lights on. I mean, you really feel like you're just driving a big tractor in here. Because effectively, you are driving a big tractor. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, tight turns are not your forte, are they? It does not like tight turns. It's like, oh, tight turn? No thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect vehicle for Atlanta Motorsports Park. No questions. Perfect. Tail of the Dragon? Perfect. No big deal. It is actually, considering what it is, though, and where we are, it's pretty fast. Like, that's one of the biggest things I've been surprised about by most of the vehicles uh, in this in this DLC is how fast they are. Uh, they're much faster than the, than a lot of the base vehicles. And I, I don't know if that's maybe because they're a lot more powerful because, because America and everything in America's got a Hellcat engine. But uh, not really a Hellcat engine, but, you know, everything in America needs to have, like, a million billion horsepower. But I mean, not really. But it, it's it's kind of like it's a it's a stereotype about Americans and horsepower that works. Like I'm always surprised every time I get in the Freightliner. I'm like, holy crap! You're in fifth gear already. You're so fast. Barely understand how this thing is this fast. But I'm not gonna argue with it. I'm just gonna use it to complete the map faster. Skitter should be right up here. There it is. Yes, there it is. Okay, so there's the lumber that we need to pick up. And what I'm going to do then is get in the skitter and just turn it around. Turn it around and drop the lumber right next to the truck, or at least sort of right next to the truck. Somewhere where the truck will have no problem picking it up and where it won't have to drive into the mud. Because if I can if I can avoid having that Freightliner drive into the mud, I'm going to do it at just about all costs. All right. Crane operation. Oh, boy. All right. And drop. So one of them's a little in the mud, but not enough to where I would be concerned about it or anything. All right. So now on to the process of loading this stuff up. Let's see. We might be too close, but... Oh god, this is a weird camera angle. This is a really weird camera angle. Oh my god. How do I... It's just like freaking out. Up? Maybe? Okay, jeez, there we go. My god, this truck is weird. Okay. Move up and down. Yes, I understand that. 
L for move horizontally. How do I move it out? Wait. Okay, so that just makes sense then. Okay, so it's just simple. Only thing is, that's going to be way too far. Like, way too far out. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I hate that camera angle. I hate that camera angle. Like, it, it, oh my god, it genuinely bothers me. And... Rotate it back just a little bit. Down. How many did we get? Three? Oh boy, this truck is rocking a lot. Now, how am I supposed to move you? Oh my god, the concentration level is very real right now. Very, very real right now. Oh my god. Why did it go to keyboard? Oh lord. Oh, I was using those. I was using those tips. No. Stop. There. Okay, thank god. Okay, cool. Okay, why is that so... Why is that so difficult to figure out? It shouldn't be. Alright, now spin. That worked. Worked as well as I needed it to. It Those should load up just fine. I kind of want to try getting both of these in one shot, but I also kind of don't. Because I feel like if I get both of these in one shot, or if I try to get both of these in one shot, it could end up going really bad. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Just rotate, 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 rotate. And drop. Oh, it's going to yell at me for that. Oh, it's so going to yell at me for that. Yeah, see? 100% going to yell at me for that. Oh my god, stop swinging. Okay. Rotate. Are you serious? You don't rotate any further? God, this is... Oh, this is getting annoying now. There we go. Okay, that works. That's enough for it to be in the green. And out. God, my... <laughs> I'm not talking much, but my concentration levels are through the roof. I was going to say, you're kidding me. It should be able to pick that up just fine. Drop it down. Pick it up again. There we go. So that's not a big deal then. So if we could just move that in here. Give it a little bit of rotation. See, I don't know why it won't... Hmm. Like, it doesn't seem like it wants to come any further back. Which is annoying. It's really annoying because when it won't come any further back, it... Okay, we might have it here. I think we might be able to do this now. Crane. Restore. Load, please. Wow, thank you. Okay, finally. So that is going to conclude this episode of Spin Tires Punter American Wilds. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. I know there was some a uh, little bit of shaky sections in this one, but it's been a long time since I loaded lumber, so cut me some slack. But um, make sure you subscribe for more. There'll be new episodes coming very soon. See you all there.